Hello, hello, this is Simone. Today I'm going to share with you my September Coco Daisy Planner Kits unboxing. As a disclaimer, I do get these kits for free in exchange for blog posts, videos, and posting on social media. I'm going to start with the planner kit, then I'm showing you the add-on and then the rest of the things that I received. This is the planner kit. It comes with this canvas bag with this cute owl printed on it. And that is where I just, after I received my package yesterday, this is where I just put everything in there. And as you can see, the pages fit in nicely. So let me show you. This is a pocket TN that would fit in here. So you could actually put all of your supplies in there and just carry it around like that. What else? Let me show you a standard Trevor's notebook would fit. Let me see. I have a really chunky B6 notebook as well. I'll just put it in here and see if it still works. Yes, it does. However, it's really, it's thick, but it would definitely fit all the supplies that come with the kit. Then there is a vellum with silver foil on it. It's Constellations. So it comes with this bow charm that you can clip onto the elastic of your um, Traveler's Notebook. If you don't use a Traveler's Notebook, but you use a uh, ring planner, you could actually clip this to something like an extender. I have a little loop that I, for, that I have had left over from a charm. Um, and I just looped the, the loop into the rings and then attached it to the bottom of the loop and it stuck out at the bottom. And this is definitely just an easy paper clip. I really love the blue color of these. Okay, so we have the bows. Then we have this paper pad here. Uh, I don't really know the numbers of the, how many sheets are on this, if you are interested in that, go have a look at the product description. I think it is listed and yeah, but it's definitely enough. I never use them up in a month. There is a pen included. It looks the same as the one that came in August. There is, if you, I don't know if you can see it, Coco Daisy engraved on the clip here and you push it and it's actually a gel pen and it writes really, really nicely. So that's the pen. Then we have washi tape and it's the phases of the moon. And this is what it looks like when it's stuck on paper. So that's the washi. And then we have this sticky note pad. Again, if you want to know the number of the sheets, have a look at the product description. My little trick for sticky notes is if you pull them off like that, the sticky side will curl and they won't stick really nicely. But if you take them like across the grain, if you would say so, then it sticks much nicer. And I got this idea or helpful tip, I think from Jennifer. Um, who is happy place planning on Instagram. So that's the notepad and I changed my subscription because I know I use this um, for my planning right now. So I'm getting the mini Daisy Dory planner kit. This is the mini Daisy Dory. It is, uh, it has this lined page in the front and then let's just have a look at it and I will show you the B6 later on in the unboxing video and we can just i can show you what's different in the two travers notebook inserts there is a scroll here and it looks like the last days of summer and that's what it's supposed to be um like the transition from summer to fall with night skies feathers 
Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. Let the beauty of what you love be what you do. Just like the moon, I go through phases. I really love this. There's another line page here, another moon. And I use this in a ring planner. I cut it apart and punch hole, trim it down a tiny bit and then punch holes and add it into my ring pocket ring planner. The future depends on what you do today. So true. <laughs> Trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. And then this last quote says, I am a child of the moon being raised by the sun in a world walked by stars and a sky drawn with flowers. Really love that too. So that's the mini Daisy Dory. Then we have these tab stickers. They work perfectly on the tabs that are included in the die cuts. And I will show you that later on. This is the functional planner stickers. There is date flags here. You can add the days of the week. There's weekend stickers, several kinds of arrows and teardrop stickers. This one fits right on the front of the um, standard Daisy Dory. There is an arrow embossed in there and you can add that here. There's an autumn sticker, today's plans, birthday next month. This Coco Daisy sticker actually is now also a sticker and you can take it off maybe to um, mark the day when your kid arrives or when Coco Daisy reveal is. There's functional stickers here and then there is one that says September 2018. This one is the pretty planner sheet, I always call it. Um, the shapes are always the same except for the designs and let's have a look. There's the September, it's a label here. These. This one says warm nights, chase your dreams. These are, okay, let me have a look. Flags and banners. This one is a flag. This one is an arrow. This one says stay in to do tracker, go out goals and long day. This one says goals, call, wire, pay. No, not wire, write. And then we have the third is labor day and the 22nd is autumnal equinox. There's a sticker for hello autumn and then a wish upon a star. This one says school. I will use this in August because we start back to school in August by summer. So you could use those two together. There's a go for it, oh nuts, crescent, full moon, quarter moon and new moon. And these are tab stickers that you can add to your planner. There's arrows, hole reinforcers, more arrows, a circle sticker, and stars and hearts. And this one is actually a tab that you could, you could just stick it together and then use it as a bookmark or something in your planner. And lastly, the papers. You get six double-sided sheets. They are um, the same so you get two of each there's a tree and the owl oops is that wrong yes no so there's the tree and the owl then we have the flowers and this pretty colorful background and then we have the feathers and the stripes so there's six papers all in all and you can use them to create dividers for your ring planners. You could use them to cover the Daisy Dory. You could do lots of things, bookmarks, um, what else? I always love to use the leftovers in my scrapbooking and I have seen people use them for cards. There's lots of um, uses for the papers here. And now let me zoom in and show you the die cuts.
Here's a little overview of the planner add-on kit. There's a stamp set, puffy clips, more clips, die cuts, uh, stickers and cards, washi tape and an ink right, pad. So this is the washi tape and it is a bit skinnier than the usual washi tape we received. This is the one from the kit, the planner kit, and this is the one from the add-on. And I'll just show you what it looks like when you stick it down on paper. It, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a starry night. I'll just, oops, sorry. This one goes here, this one goes over there. And this is what it looks like put on paper. I think this is my most favorite washi tape of all times. And since I'm here, I'll show you the, the stamps right here. There's moon, a bug with a trail, there's arrows, there's sayings, just like the moon, I go through phases. It's all good. Just be who you are up all night and night owl. And then there's two owls. There is a jar for these little bugs. What are they? Ha, huh, I don't really, I don't remember, but there's also another trail here. And I'll just show you what the ink that is included looks like by stamping, I think one of the sentiments so that we can see uh, the color of the ink pad best. And I like to prime my <laughs> stamps by just um, sticking them onto my hands. Um, this way they take the ink better. And let's see, it looks like a really bright blue. Just be who you are, very dark. But however, as you can see, it's not suitable for the notepad because it seeps right through. Okay, so that's the ink, it's blue. Uh, the stamps right here. Let's have a look at the puffy stickers. They are, that's not true. This was not in the classified planner kit. This was in the add-on. Um, they are very easy to use. You have three clips in the package included and you just take the sticker off then you loop it through the back or the top of the clip and then fold it and match the edges up and stick them together press hard and then you have your paper clip and you can just clip it onto your planner just like that and then you have it sticking out at the top so that's the puffy clips there is an owl the circle sticker that says stay wild moon child and hearts there's more clips here. There's an owl, a moon, and a tree as well. And what I really love about these is that they don't stick out as much. And I'm not a planner, uh, a clip person. I am a planner person, but not a clip person. And if I'm getting this on here right now, you can see how deep it, how deep down it goes. And I will definitely try using those. As I said, I'm not a clip person, but I might be able to use this. So there's three of those clips included in the planner add-on kit. And then the cards. There is one four by six that says, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. There is two three by four cards that say, reach for the stars, but be happy if all you can catch are fireflies. Oh, I think those are fireflies, the, these and these, and you can put them in the jar and make your own firefly jar. And then this one says, if you never try, you will never know. Two journaling cards and then three sets of stickers. This one is just a pretty sticker sheet with several sayings. Wild hearts cannot be broken. Stay mysterious. Fireflies can't shine without darkness. Never stop looking up. You're a hoot. Stars above me, earth below me, fire within. Then there is this functional sticker sheet and it is checkbox flags. There is several um, icons in circles. They have changed in the recent, I think last month was the first month. So we have birthday, payday, there's um, coffee one here, there's recycling 
garbage, uh, thumbs up, weightlifting or exercising. There's appointments, I think. This is food, an exclamation mark. There's more um, payday stickers, more food related, a car related, and there's more uh, food. So there is more, a, a greater variety than before. And then we have these um, sayings up here. One says first day of fall, checklist, all the things that you can use to prettify your planner. And the last one is alphabet stickers, date, another set of date stickers, and these that say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and weekend. So these are the stickers. Last one I have to share is the die cut. This is the sticker kit from Coco Daisy. There is decorative full boxes and washi strips at the bottom here. Then there is full boxes and trackers and lists here. There is a tracker here. Um, list for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You could add your meal planning right here. There's lists. They are also full box sizes as these ones. Then there is meals, TV, work, and appointment stickers. These are quarter, bo quarter boxes, half boxes, word fatty and hydrate hydration stickers. There is headers, banners, and more. So there's more pretty stickers here. If you only get the sticker subscription, you also get some pretty stickers. There is checkbox flags, headers and banners, and some icons down here. There is one that says functional stickers. So there's hexagons to use as labels. There's circular labels, a cloud, more labels. Here is um, more icons, circles, Today, remember goals to do, more um, labels and some pretty stickers here. And the last one is washi strips and you get three strips of each design. So this one is the wider one and then you get two skinnier ones here like that. So there you have five different designs and then these are like washi stickers that you can use um, to highlight something. I love writing a title and then just sticking this over it and it gives it a really great effect. So that's six sheets in the sticker kit subscription. This one is the dashboard kit. It is six dashboards in personal size and the same dashboards in a five size. And um, I'll just show them to you in the A5 size. Only in the darkness can you see the stars. If you can dream it, you can do it. Let me be as a feather, strong with purpose, yet light at heart, able to bend, and though I might become frayed, able to pull myself together again. My fancies are fireflies, specks of living light twinkling in the dark. Make your dreams happen. And the last one is September. And what I like to do is um, I like to cut them down to use them at, to use as dividers in my pocket ring planner. They also work really well as just a title card on your Daisy Dory. And these really work well when you cut them down for the B6 size. This is the B6 Daisy Dory. And the difference between the B6 
and the mini Daisy Dory is that the front page is not a calendar like here. This one has a striped page and this one has the calendar. All the other Daisy Dories, the personal size, the standard size, and the B6 size have this calendar in the front, except for the mini Daisy Dory. And then the setup of all the other Daisy Dories is like the B6. There's a stripe page here. There is a divided section here, and you have um, three divisions on each page, which, will, which gives you the option to make this a weekly spread with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. However, especially in the B6 size, you could also create a vertical layout here. And if you are interested in seeing how that looks, go and follow Mary Kay. Um, she's the customer, customer service at Coco Daisy. She has videos on her YouTube channel and she does the vertical layout. There is enough grid pages and divided sections in the front to make a one, two, three, four, five weekly spreads. One, two, three, four, five. And that gives you enough for all the weeks here. The only thing that happens is that one of those, this Saturday or this Sunday, needs to go someplace else. Um, and since you, if you start here with the Saturday, then you could just add the Sunday up here, or you could do the Sunday here and then keep on going. Then there's blank pages and pages with a dot grid and lines in the middle. And then you have another um, divided section, again, with five divided double pages, and they come with a dot grid in the background. and pulling this closer so you can see it right here. Yes. So the layout of these Daisy Dories is always the same. You have the same type of design on the same pages. However, as you can see clearly, the mini Daisy Dory doesn't have three divided sections, but only two. And that is the Daisy Dory. This is the Simple Dory. It is a new edition. It is now available as a subscription. Standalone subscri subscription, it is not added to a kit. You can just get this booklet as a subscription in the shop. And this is the Simple Dory. Um, Coco Daisy started offering this with their June kits. And so this is the third one that they are sending out. There is kind of a title page in the front, and then there is designed pages with blank pages, grid pages, line pages throughout the insert that you could use to memory keep. You could also use this for planning, but it is originally intended to scrapbook in a traveler's notebook style or format, not style, because the style, that's yours. Now I'll just flip through this and you can have a look at what it looks like. I am still working on mine from uh, the summer. I have the June one and I will be using this to document our vacation. What I really love is you could even if you don't like, for instance, if you don't like this page, you could use cover this up with a full page photo. And I played around with collages and sending them off to a printing service. And I found that when I put three photos next to each other on a eight by 12 photo, I would get three photos that have a little bit of an edge around that I can stick in here. So if you need this as a tip, I can definitely um, 
talk about this in another video some more. And there is this background. You could add a photo, you could add a title. It's very, I really like that it gives you an idea on or a starting point for um, memory keeping in a Daisy Dory or a Travis notebook. There's a plain dot grid and then the last page looks like this. And that is it for my unboxing video. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below on the packaging issue. I know that people don't really, I know that some people don't like the crinkling noises and I actually didn't like it either. So this month I tried to unpack everything before. Tell me what you like better and I will see you next time. Bye.